Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on a Fiat 500. It's been a while, it's been a lot of delays in postage and deliveries and things, but finally we have a new hub. Now hopefully that will solve the ABS problem on this car. In the previous episode we've uh, replaced the ABS sensor, didn't cure it, we used multi-scan ECU to clear the code, didn't work. So the only things left to do is replace the hub. I know it sounds a bit extreme, so in this episode that hub is coming off, putting that one on and hopefully you cure that ABS sensor so we can get this car sorted and up for sale. Okay, um, welcome back. It's been a good week or two since you, the last part of that video of me working on this uh, Fiat 500 because I've been working hard to get that Freelander 2 finished. The Freelander 2 is currently, uh, show you, parked over there, out the way, and it's up for sale. So, back to this. Now, this car. It was supposed to be in a quick flip. Now this shows you sometimes uh, how hard it can be just to flip a simple car like this. Now I quite could have easily just sold it as it was. This was a category N car with 67,000 miles on the clock and it had rear arch damage. If you haven't seen that go back and watch a playlist. I bought it, done the repair on it and what I should have done is listen to my wife originally when we first went around and looked at it. We thought that it probably uh, needed more work and what was uh, originally planned so I should have just listened to it and sold it as it was before doing a repair and probably made about 200 quid on it 300 quid now this car owes me 1500 pound that's how much it cost me to get it to you that was including fees now I've spent an absolute fortune on this car getting it back up to a, um, a tidy standard I think the 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 wheel arch now I think cost about 350 pound I can't remember I think it was like 300 it might have been 300 pound actually to get that wheel arch sorted. But as you know, I've done the timing belt, I've done the clutch, things like that all add up. And I'm still working on this car. I think we've had this car on the channel since July. I think June, July, something like that. So that's, that's nowhere near quick enough, guys. Also, I have worked on the other Fiat 500 in between. I have been working on the Freelander too. So that's probably why. I know you're all fed up of seeing this car. I am too. But this car um, is an absolute bloody nightmare. You would have seen earlier on, I was working on the hub to try and undo that uh, tie rod end. I could not undo it because it's sea solid, rusted, the bolts just will not come off. So what I've had to do is buy a new steer it, steering uh, tie rod end and track rod end. So I've got to fit that, but I've got to take off that hub as well. We've got to fix this ABS now. I'm in I'm in I'm gonna make a loss on this car, which sounds stupid, I know, I understand why are you carrying on if you're making a loss. I understand. Uh, I cannot sell it the way it is. It's the ABS sensors on on it. We've got that rear wiper knackered on it. We're at the home straight now. We just need to get this uh, ABS sorted. And hopefully we just give it a good clean. You work it out now. The amount of money I think I spent on it is about 2-2. Two, two, two. Because I've had to buy software for the car. Not just for this car, but I've got it anyway. Multi-scan ECU. I've had to buy that. So that all goes on to the price of the car. So this car, I think now to date, is about 2-2. Two, two. It's not going to be worth much more than that. It's a 2010 Category N car. I'd be lucky to get 2-3 for it. Uh, and obviously the condition of the bodywork isn't 100%. 
I am going to try and buff out as much of the scratches as possible and get this paint looking fresh, but it, it's lots of creases and things in this car that I didn't notice previously. The bonnet's got a few dents in it. See that? You know, it's not a perfect car. Oh, and people have said, why don't you use it as a break it up for parts? A lot of the parts are crap on it, to be honest. It's a lot of the stuff is rusted. So, it's not worth it. So what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to crack on, get that wheel back off, get that hub off, get everything stripped out, and once I've done that, I'll cut back in, putting all the new parts back on, and hopefully take it for a quick spin to see if we've sorted that ABS out. If I don't do it, then I, I, I'm at a loss of what it could be. I've replaced everything. I've replaced the sensor, cleaned the hub, the old hub. I've cleaned it all up. That haven't worked. I've reset everything. That haven't worked. So I'm a bit of a loss. If that don't work, then like you said, guys, I probably will sell it as it is. In, in amongst that, once I've had the car jacked up as well, I've also noticed that the oil, oil pan, or oil sump is still leaking. Now I've replaced this, this pan and I've resealed it and it's leaking. So we need to have a look at that as well. So we're going to investigate that on another episode. Like I said, I know there's more episodes on this car. I don't want to keep on bringing out content on this. I am bringing some, something slightly different to other YouTubers because these v 500s are splashed all over YouTube. These wheels have been off off on the ground more than Katie Price's knickers. So <laughs> we just need to crack on now and get this car sorted so we can get it out the door and work on some other projects. I have got other projects coming. I can't wait to work on them. I've had someone approach me with a car that's been standing for a good few years and we want he wants me to have a work on that car as well. That is something that's going to come to the channel in the new year. I can't wait for that. I've also got my own vehicle to work on, which is my uh, Ford Transit Connect. It is not a category car or anything like that. This is my workhorse. It's in a sad state now. It needs a bit of tidying up. It hasn't got an MOT on it, and the last MOT it had, it had a few advisories. We're going to work down that advisory list, get that sorted, give that a service, and get that tidy. So this is something that might come to the channel only if you want to see it. So comment below if you want to see this van on the channel. Let's crack on now. I know I've rambled on loads. I don't want to go through all this again. So I'm just going to take this wheel off, get it all sorted to a good place, and then I'll cut back in once, once it's all more or less tidy and we go from there. Like I said, this video is going on and on and on about this Fiat 500. I just want it done. So the quicker I get it done, the quicker we can move on to something else. Hopefully this will cure it now. I'll cut back in once we've got to a good place. I wanted to cut back in and show you what the actual problem is. Now, I wanted to replace the hub, yeah? That's what I was doing. Straightforward task, you got a couple of bolts, job done. Oh, not on this, because everything's so friggin' rusted. I knew I'd have problems with it. I just cannot undo that bolt. That is just spinning inside. I've tried mole grips, I've tried ironing it, I've tried tightening it, I've tried everything. All I've looked at all those little tips and tricks you could do on YouTube. I just cannot undo that. So my only option is to undo it from that end, take the whole thing off with the hub, and then hopefully then just replace it with a new one. That is my method and my theory behind it. Might be a bit extreme, but that's the only way I can think of to get that off. You know, I it's either I'll cut it. I, I, I'm going to have to cut it to get the boot off anyway. But I'll cut it uh, up here later. Uh, I am going to power, so I can't even use anything to cut it with. That is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to carry on stripping all this down. It's a state of it, man. Everything looks a bit better now I've uh, greased it all up. But when we first started this, it was really, really bad. At least the shocks are not leaking, so that's a that's a good sign. It's just really corroded. Anyway, like I said, we've re already replaced the lower arm. So this practically this isn't this. What annoys me is this wasn't even the damage. The damage was the wheel arch. So this is what happens when you buy cars, um, an older car from from auction. You're basically buying some other someone else's crap. So I'm doing all the, all the work that should have been done on the car and maintained on the road anyway. Not just repairing the panels. This is the trouble when you buy in auction cars or category cars. People see them on YouTube and think, oh, it's really easy, I can do that. Bear in mind, it's not always easy as it looks. And people can make things look easy and cut a lot of the crap out and say, I've made this much profit, I've made that much profit. This is the second car 
In fact, this is the third car now that I've had and I haven't made no money on. In fact, made a loss on. Uh, so, it just goes to show nothing is perfect. I can tell you that now. It's not as easy as what it makes out. Anyway, I'm just going to crack on and get this off. Okay, I just wanted to cut back in and show you this. Drive shaft's out. Caliper's off. Disc is off. Everything's off there. This is the problem. Normally you can get an Allen key in there, but there's nothing there to grip that. I've tried all ways to get that off. So, but like I said, the only option was to do this. Now, what I'm cutting in for is I've managed to take the cover off, because we're going to reuse this cover. But to get this off, I have this tool. I featured it in the channel a few times previously. It, uh, it looks like that. I think it's like £12. And what that does, it goes around the end of this ball here and you can put a socket on it and it'll undo it I'll show you now how it works I'll just get it set up in, in place and then uh, you will see what I mean okay so what we do now is that's in place so you can see that that goes on it Okay, you can see where the problem lies that's got nothing on there and this one's got like um, an extra layer on there so that's probably where the problem is and condition wise that's in a hell of a state and this one's practically new I didn't want to bore you too much of putting it all back together but it's all back on, all the um, calipers back on, discs back on, ABS sensors all in, it's all tidy. The only thing I haven't done now is the tie rod end. But what I'll have to do is take this home, cut this, because I've got no power down here, cut this to get this cover off to put on a new one. So I'm going to take that home and cut that off and then I'll come back in to put the new parts on. But that went too bad. Easy enough to do. It's just the only thing with this car is everything's just seized. But uh, that went fine. So we're getting on with it. What do you that tool? Good little tool in there. Gets that off, no problems. I've had about, I've used it about three or four times now. And the link is in the description for it. So have a look. Anyway, let me. I'll cut back in once we get back to getting that cap off. Okay, I managed to get that off. So there's the outer, and we got the inner to that. So I'm going to put that back in, and I'll cut back in once it's all ready to be tightened up. As you see. I've tightened it up, spun it around, and it's all nice and tight now. That's in place. Just go and do that, and just line up the front wheels. As simple as that, guys. Okay, that was a long-winded process to get to this point, but as you can see, all fitted, all back on. The wheel is more or less straight. You probably have to go for wheel alignment anyway. It doesn't look straight from this angle, but it is straight. As straight as I can get it. Could do with probably coming. I could probably adjust it myself anyway. Now it's loose. So that is done. Fingers crossed now the ABS sensor will work. It should, in theory, go out when I start it. But you never know. We might have to take it for a spin. sensors on. Now 
will probably need to be taken out now for it to reset for it to detect the wheel so that's what I'll do next I'll take it out now and see if it'll reset okay I've taken the car for a, a spin and oh, it's filthy no ABS lights on at all the only thing that is wrong with it is the steering is a bit out of line so there's definitely needs wheel alignment to get that spot on so it's starting to take a bit of shape again now we finally cured that ABS problem it was obviously the the, the wheel bearing inside it wasn't detecting that there's something wrong with that so that's done what I'm gonna do now it is getting dark so the light is starting to fade on us and I am gonna light in the garage although it looks quite bright it is dark in there what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get that car in there, jack it up, so we can have a good look underneath and have a look at this sump. I'm sure it was leaking oil, but we'll know for definite once we get it inside and have a look. If it isn't, give it a good clean, do that rear wiper, and hopefully that'll be it. If it is leaking, then we obviously have to take it back off and reseal it and redo it. Sadly, that's one of them things, I can't sell it with the oil leaking out of it. But we definitely added a few more years to this car, that's for sure. I'm well chuffed that we've sorted that ABS out. We've had a new hub, um, new uh, lower arm, and we've had a new in and an out of tie rod end. People might say, why don't you change the other side as well to match? They technically might wear differently now, but if it doesn't need replacing, you don't need to change it. Let's get this car inside so we can jack it up and have a good look at it. Okay, as you can see, the car is up off the ground. We're gonna have a little look underneath now and see if it is actually leaking and where from. Oh yeah, look, it's wet around the bell housing and that sump it's definitely wet let's see if we can put the light on on the camera oh this car I tell out dry looks dry around there the wet that is I think it's leaking around that's see if I can show you it's leaking where the join is around the bell housing that meets the sump looks like Seems dry everywhere else. Apart from there. Now I could I suppose try and do these boats up a bit more, but I think that's gonna keep it. That's quite bad that leak. So it's running down from there, and it also looks like it's leaking from the sump plug. But everywhere else seems dry. So this is where it obviously fails. But that's where it fails. All around there. <sighs> so as you can probably tell I'm pretty cheesed off but it is definitely leaking it looks like it's leaking around the bell housing so we're gonna need to take a look at that again now the question is do you want to see it again well I might just do it off camera but the last time I done the sump I had all the front off I ain't taking the front off again to do it so this would probably be more true to life I'll have a think about it what to do i might just go oh guys i am cheesed off that sump is still leaking man but anyway i'm gonna leave it there for today it's getting really dark it's getting starting to get dark quick now like i said we've sorted out the uh, abs fault that was the main problem we've still got an oil leak we'll sort that out we will sort that can't leave it like that we got a rear wiper to do and give this car a damn good clean because it is absolutely filthy and hopefully buff some of the crap out of this paint and hopefully it should come up nice and hopefully put by cleaning it up as best we can we'll hopefully put in a little bit more value onto the car the car itself is pretty clean the engine is really clean it's like i said it's only done 60 000, 67 000 miles so it's nothing for one of these it's all clean except for that little oil leak and we'll have to sort that apart from that it's pretty good now so i'm going to call it a day now on this car 
thank you for watching uh, and I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and we'll continue to sort this car out and get this sorted and then hopefully we'll move on to a, a different project coming soon fingers crossed and I will see you all in the next one take care everyone bye we started out on a Wednesday and I couldn't figure out